Hi and welcome to Stephador's Jewelry and More. I'm coming back from the Art Deco uh, box and I want to try to create some jewelry. I'm not 100% sure of what I'm going to be making, but I wanted to pick out a few pieces. Uh, and I thought that I might delve into some of these pieces and figure out what I want to use. And so therefore I'll be back once I get this figured out and sorted. In the meantime, please do subscribe, like, and comment on this video. I appreciate those of you that have subscribed so far, and I appreciate uh, those of you who watch and comment. Okay, it looks like I've chosen the Chex Glass Art Deco beads in the fan. I think I am going to choose red in that situation. Uh, Chex Glass Speed Cube Garnet, the 5x6 millimeter. There's 50 pieces in there. I'll be using those. I also plan to use these uh, Chex Glass Druck Rounds. And I think that was 8 millimeter. And then we have the Art Deco Oval Clear Crystal Gold, 12 by 16 and 5 millimeter. And these are the Glass Starburst Oval Gold Decadence, 11 by 13 millimeter. I'll be using the Chex Glass Table Cut Freeform Diamond Red Crystals. There's two pieces in this set. I'm also going to be using some jump rings here and some um, head pins. Uh, some lobster claw clasp, excuse me, uh, some crimp beads, and the um, clamshell style uh, crimp covers. Okay, so I've kind of laid out what I think I'm going to do, and I know you saw a little blurb there. Uh, there we go. <laughs> but I have stolen this... Um, seven strand beading wire out of one of my curated bead boxes because I just don't have too much gold in my possession but this is the combination that I have come up with I think it's absolutely stunning and beautiful I can't wait to put this together I was just going to make a bracelet but now I've decided to make a bracelet earrings and a necklace and I'm going to be using uh, the color red gold and uh and garnet in this piece so that's what we're going for and it looks here like i'm trying to measure out <clears throat> at least nine inches or so for my beading wire for my bracelet because i need this to be at least a seven to a seven and a half <clears throat> excuse me inch bracelet and i want always want to have extra and somehow, uh, when I cut this, I actually cut it short. So I did have to cut another piece. <laughs> Don't ask me what I was thinking. I measure it out, and then I cut it wrong. Go figure. What do they say? Measure twice, cut once? Yeah, practice that one. Because <laughs> I made the mistake. There it was. It was short. Anyways, I do cut another piece, and we're going to be doing a crimp style uh, closure on the ends of the bracelet and I will be used sorry for the paint on my hand I will be using um, the like I said it's a seven strand uh, beading wire that I got from the curated bead box and I will be using I, I keep wanting to say a lobster class but it's not I will be using a lobster class but the clamshell uh, bead cap cover that's what this is it's a clam shell. It, it opens up like a clam. It's got a little hole in the very center that you put your, your thread through or your beading wire through rather. And then you just use one little crimp bead and, and flatten it out really well. Make sure it's on there good. And then you just put it through the hole and put your little bead crimp on and close that clam shell and in my case I, you know i haven't done it in a while i'm used to using the regular bead cap covers but i forgot that i had these and since i was working in gold i thought it might be cute to give it that little final professional uh end and put that that uh that clam cover 
over it. And in doing so, I, I made the mistake not once, but twice. And you'll see it in the video where I trimmed after I closed, I trimmed the wire after I closed the little clamshell cover and I didn't want to do it the second time and I did it again. <clears throat> so go figure. Um, but I leave it in there because I didn't edit it out. We all make mistakes and it's just one of those things. It was at the end of the night and uh, I was on my, my break and I was trying to slow down this video and not do everything in fast motion. I've been getting a lot of people say, you know, to not do fast motion as much. And the reason I did in some of them, there's a couple of reasons actually, is because one, I don't have a lot of memory on my phone and everything I do is with my phone. So for me to put things in fast forward is very important to save space. And also because my programs uh, well, I have two editing programs. One of them doesn't let me go past like 38 minutes or something like that. And the other one, I have to splice and dice and get it done in two different programs. And then this program that I'm using actually lets me go longer. I don't know how much longer, but this one does let me go longer. I had to pay for it though. This program used to be free. And when I updated my, uh, phone deal not my phone itself but I don't know I was trying to create space and I took the uh, program off of my phone and then put it back on and then all the things that I had had were gone and I was trying to restore it and then it told me I couldn't have the things I used to have which I paid for uh, a, couple, a couple of well I guess it was a few years ago but I still paid for what I was getting for free uh, it was a one-time payment of $1.99 like five years ago. And then when I re-uploaded it, <clears throat> it didn't restore my purchase and it became a new purchase. Everything that I could do before, I now had to pay for. And so this program cost me $60. And I hate saying that, but I really depend on these editing programs for my music and my little fuddy-duddies that I do. And it, it is a lot of work to edit. And here you can see where I take that excess beading wire and trim it out of there. And I don't know why I didn't cut it before I closed it. I just didn't. And I did it twice. But I'm, I'm ranting a little bit about the program, my editing program, causing me to spend $60 for what I used to get for my $1.99. Uh, the other thing that happened is it cut my time down from from an hour plus on these videos to like 30 minutes, but it looks like this VIP program that I now paid for actually lasts longer. At least that's the hope. And what, re but what really does frustrate me is there are some little, um, little effects and things like that, that they're charging even more for, uh, in bitcoins, which I don't like to use bitcoins, but, um, I'm really, I'm really just amazed on how everything these days costs so much money and how they're ripping people off left and right. And as a creator, you want nice videos and you want nice music and you want to do the editing that you've always done before, but you know, they sucker you in and get you used to it. And then I could, I guess, find a different program, but I don't want to learn a new program. <laughs> Although this has been a new learning process using this program. So anyway, I digress. Rant over. <laughs> I just thought I would share with you some of the frustrations of being a creator. Uh, not, not just for the content that you make, you know, because there's its ups and downs in making jewelry too. Um, but I make other content on other channels. I have four channels. I focus on three. Uh, my jewelry channel I've had for five years, but I, I kind of left it. I kind of abandoned it. And only recently did I start po posting over here again because I wanted to separate my art channel from my jewelry channel. And so when I started posting, it just really exploded. And I'm so grateful to you guys for those of you that have subscribed and actually watch the videos because my, my, it, it, I, I'm, it, you know, I've been at this a long time. And um, between all my channels, and I really focused on the Roland Studio the most. Right now, I've got 1,500 people over there. 
And so if you're not subscribed to my Roland Studio channel, which is my art channel of all kinds and, and trucking vlogs, then please jump on over there. All the descriptions will be in the description box below. And I know you're here to see jewelry. So again, I digress. <laughs> Check out all my links. That's all I'm asking. But I am using the Sam's Beadbox Art Deco. And I'm just stringing on the design that I created earlier in this piece. And I'm just trying to give you a visual. I'm trying to slow down. I'm trying, well, okay, so I'll start straining them all on. <laughs> okay, maybe I lied a little bit. But I, I don't have a lot of memory on my, on my internal phone. And I don't know how else to clear it. Uh, I've cleared it many times, but it's like the phone itself has so many uh things that steals my memory from me so i have to be careful what i do i i do apologize but truly it was just stranded on the design and that's why i didn't think it was important it's just how i designed it and i'm showing you the beads and in the order that i've put them in uh, again this was the sam's bead box for uh, October 2022 and here I go crimping that little uh, bead or the crimp bead um, and I'm trying to hold my focus steady I'm trying to work on that too staying in frame I'm trying to work on uh, close-ups and slowing down <laughs> I've been I've been hearing that on a couple of my videos and so I'm trying to pay attention to that just be patient with me my time is limited I swear it is um, I drive truck I am a over-the-road truck driver and on my time off I try to create content for you and I really hope that you like what I'm bringing you I, I really am grateful I don't know how many times I can say it but I'm grateful that you guys have chosen to subscribe to my channel and um, I'm appreciative of any comments that you give me as long as they're nice and clean and direct but not ugly um but uh yeah yeah there there it is <laughs> and again instead of trimming it while it was open i go and close it like a big dodo but you know we all make mistakes <laughs> um anyways that is uh all that i'm doing right here and so, as you can see, I definitely give it a little, I don't push too hard because you don't want to, you don't want to uh, bend that little bobble, that little clam. So you got to be careful, put a little pressure on it, but make sure that you're closing it properly, but not so much that you're going to dent the little uh, bead cap on it. But you definitely should trim that that uh, wire before you close it unlike this one that i done twice <laughs> i don't know i just wasn't thinking <laughs> but uh anyways um and then i ended up kind of squeezing that little lip and i had to see i squeezed it and i don't know what i was thinking i don't know what i did but i did it and so i was trying to undo it <laughs> um but uh i opened it back up I, I, I trim the, the, the string like I'm supposed to and then I close that back up and it, it turns out that it, it worked out pretty good but here I am showing you see how I bent it out of shape <laughs> what a dodo <laughs> but you know just wait when you do it trust me you, you'll have your day or your moments <laughs> we all do um, just wasn't thinking and now I'm going to straighten that little loop up and that's the loop that you need to connect your ends to your lobster, lobster clasp and your jump rings and all that kind of stuff but I do love this bracelet it, it turned out very beautiful and uh, there I got that and I am super close up uh, I did have some focus issues but uh, I like to show you what I'm doing close up as I can but it's not always so easy and I was trying to get some focus on this split ring but you know how to do a split ring if you've done jewelry at all but if you haven't you just take this little ring it splits down the center and uh, you just 
you rock it back and forth to open it and you rock it back and forth to close it you don't pull it apart that will uh, mess up the integrity of the jump ring so here I am putting on my jump ring uh, okay here I am trying to put on my jump ring <laughs> see this is what you get when you want me to go slow <laughs> you get a lot of a lot of step a step a silly <laughs> I was gonna say step a stupid but you know I I, I do talk I, I make my I crack myself up I can't help it it's just the way I am it's just what I do sometimes I'm serious sometimes I try to be professional and sometimes I'm, I'm just silly and I really my personality is silly and fun but if I'm tired you know I can be a crump too <laughs> I just try not to be but it is a beautiful bracelet and I was just sizing it up it was a little big bigger than I wanted by the time I got my lobster clasp on it um, but it it still worked out it worked out and it fits my wrist and it just kind of hangs down a little lower than I'd like but uh, overall I, I wasn't changing it because it it still worked and I'm going to probably be selling this piece anyway, uh, but I'm going to probably be selling it in a set. So uh, if you're interested at all, you can email me at jeweladoll1 at yahoo.com and you can send me a, a private message on my email. Um, I might be putting it on my stephanie's handcrafted jewelry facebook business page i haven't really i'll probably post it there but i haven't really been putting them for sale there yet but i should i don't know why i haven't but i should i should go and post all my pictures of what i've got but uh i haven't and i'm going to be bringing you my uh bangle thing my bangle my keychain bangle soon i it's on my youtube on my rolling studio when i was doing them over there uh it's a, all these were called stephador's collections but i decided to change my jewelry channel from stephanie's handcrafted jewelry was to stephador's jewelry and more i just i don't know it just flowed better uh, but i have all of my shorts and my dangle products over there but I might be showing you guys uh, my bangles soon and I'll talk about that when I create that video which I don't know when I'll do that so don't hold me to it but I plan to but you can go take a peek at my rolling studio there's a couple of shorts showing them I have not showed how I've made them but uh, it was something that I really thought out and it turned out to be a pretty simple solution but there's a whole thought process there that I'll discuss another time in the meantime here is our Sam Speedbox Art Deco in red gold and garnet bracelet I love it it's beautiful I'm not usually a red person but man I'm telling you this is a beautiful piece and it was these gorgeous beads that did it I mean what a selection that they curated for our subscription box every month and i i am not an ambassador or do i don't have a code i don't have none of that there's plenty of videos that you can go get that with but i am a lover of the subscription box look at me wearing that bracelet i'm over there supporting it <laughs> okay so a little fyi not only did i steal the golden um head pins and the jump rings and the lobster clasp and the seven the seven uh, strand beading wire from the curated bead box but i also delved into my stash of the bargain bead box and stole that beautiful red english cut bead oh i love that bead and it was the perfect red that i needed to go with my bracelet um in the sam's bead box the garnet was beautiful and the fans were beautiful but there wasn't any more red to work with the the garnet and and the other pieces so i needed another red so that's the beauty about having your own stash or other subscription boxes because um, i do have stashes of other beads outside of most of mine came from michael's and and um 
and uh, Hobby Lobby. But since I started getting these subscription boxes, I have a beautiful uh, another stash. And uh, I, I love it. So I was able to delve into two of my subscription boxes to help me out to make this beautiful jewelry with the Sam's Bead Box subscription. And if you've beaded it all, you know you have your stash or if you've done jewelry. And if you haven't, the, the bead boxes are a fantastic way to build your stash. And there it is. Pretty, pretty piece. And look, I'm going to show you. It goes so well together. Now, bada bing, tell me that doesn't work. <laughs> and here's the other one. Bam, I'm quick. <laughs> Okay, so that is that, and I guess now we'll be moving on to the necklace. So, I did edit out uh, a clip a minute ago because I was using one of the gold head pens, and I had used one of the 8mm Druck round beads on that head pen along with the other beads you're about to see, and it turns out that I needed a little more space. So I edited that part out and just decided to keep the video shorter and show you these uh, filigree uh, golden beads that I got from the Dollar Bead Box, which is um, the curatedbeadbox.com. Uh, I mean, it's the sister store. The dollarbead.com is where I got these from. And it made perfect sense because this was the main focal that I was creating for the necklace and this is um it was too big uh that that eight millimeter druck gold druck that i used on the bracelet was just too big for this piece so i had to um backtrack cut it up take the pieces back off of that head pin and change that bottom bead but i wanted to keep that round on there for aesthetics i just think it was perfect and there's nothing wrong with a little filigree so um i still was a little if you can see i was still just fighting for a little bit of of wire to make my loop but we were able to do it with the little four millimeter filigree uh bead so sometimes you have to you know kick back and punt and and you know create another play uh, I'm not a football player, or do I follow it? But I know a little bit of verbiage. <laughs> Had to use some old football verbiage there. Anyway, so there is my main focal. And, of course, there's my fingerprints, too. <laughs> Let's clean those off. Uh, uh, don't incriminate me. <laughs> I'll be screenshotting my fingerprints now. <laughs> so, anyway, it, it won't matter. You won't find anything. Uh, I'm a pretty good girl. And, uh at least i like to think so <laughs> not always have i been hey i'll just i'll just put it out there we all have our moments right <laughs> so i am now showing you the components that i have put together and all that's left to do is to make the loops for all the other pieces and this little beginning of a uh chain because I didn't have any gold chain. I have some now. So I will be adding some go gold chain to this piece. Uh, but not in this video. But I didn't have any gold chain. So I got creative and made my own beginning of chain. Just so that you could see. Uh, and I will talk about that in just a moment. But in the meantime. I was just going to sit here. And this is some of the most basic stuff you can do. Is to make your uh, loops for your your beaded components and i i can loop a loop some beads okay but i am i have moments like i forget what i'm doing or which way i'm going with it if i'm gonna wrap it then i don't know i i've i've always had like if i don't do it often enough then i forget what i'm doing i don't know how to explain it but just having those dumb dumb moments <laughs> So I actually have to correct my beading um, loops, my uh, wire, my wire wrap loops, a couple of times. But again, that's okay. I mean, I really do know how to do it. I, I swear I do. But 
in some of these videos you'll be like uh what's what's she doing <laughs> why why is it so hard it's not i like that one right there there's just too much space so i didn't cut it right i didn't give my i gave myself too much uh metal to work with instead of trimming it out but overall that's all we're doing is making loops and then we're going to connect them and i think that i will just let y'all watch me do this i don't know if i should i don't know if i end up fast forwarding this or not uh this is a voiceover by the way because when i recorded this i was actually on the phone <laughs> so i was actually talking on the phone i think i was talking well i was on the phone with my boyfriend i can tell you that much but um i was i don't know if i was talking or not but this is a voiceover <laughs> if you didn't already notice <clears throat> but I really am digging these colors. Um, I like I said, I'm usually not a red, a red person, but uh, it was just uh, the colors that came to me when I was looking through the box. And I think I'm going to do another piece out of this box. I think I'll probably touch on the the emerald pieces with the gold I, i'm not a goldie but this is what's coming together in this box so we're going to do gold um look at that component not too shabby not too shabby um but one of the things that i have learned to do is to when you make a loop on two sides is to take your out well, there i am i'm sizing that down a little bit but one thing i've learned to do um that's it's actually a very simple but very effective uh part of making components is making sure they're even on both sides like that you've got both loops uh facing the same direction instead of one you know skidgy wampus on the other side and uh but yeah that's that's all we're doing is we're just creating components and we'll chain them up to each other and then we'll move forward here we go i think i'm going to show you i can make a loop <laughs> i think that's i think that's what we're doing here it's really that simple oops i'm out of frame sorry oh there now i was trying to show you that i can do it i'm showing off <laughs> I can do a loop. It's one of the simplest things to do. And then uh, I cut that head pin off and use the opposite end and create another loop. So that's what I was doing. I was using the head pins. Uh, I do have some gold eye pins, but at this moment, I didn't want to dig them out. So I just stole them again from the curated bead box. <laughs> and I am looking forward, by the way, to doing a video on the uh i don't remember what month it is it might be the the november month but it's got uh, again i'll be using gold but uh i've i've got a piece that i really want to use and to go with that that box and i'm looking forward to it but we'll just say lavenders lavenders okay so lavenders is, is coming <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's purple lovers out there, but um, we're going to be using some lavenders. So, and there it is. It's coming together how I want it to be. I'm going to cut that end off. And I, I don't know. This is rather repetitive. Maybe I should be editing this out, but I thought I'd leave it in there. This is the process. And apparently, I did not fast forward this. And uh, don't know that if I should stop right now and, and go do that. But I guess you'll see when we finish this commentary. <laughs> yep, snip. Okay. I guess I made it too big. I don't know. But there it is. That's better. Okay. I can make a loop, guys. <laughs> I really can. <laughs> Flip it over, do the other side. I know, wah, wah, wah. This is like the moment where you just kind of skip through. 
<laughs> the boring part of the video. I really was trying to do a full tutorial. Uh, I didn't want to cheat you out of it. And so this is me not cheating you out of a full tutorial. Tutorial? Tutorial. <laughs> and this is definitely, I think the, the designing of them is, is, is a bigger process than putting them together. Um, that's just my truth. I don't know if anybody else feels that way. But the design of them, it comes fairly easy to me, too. I don't know. When I see things, they just come together. And uh, I didn't want to waste the time on the video creating the design. Uh, I usually do just kind of wing it as I go. All my other videos that you've seen, I literally am just putting t it together. But I fumble up a lot. And I thought I would have some structure to this video and actually take the time to record every little bit except for when I fast forward on the stringing apparently I have not uh, done a speed job on this part of it a time lapse and I just wanted you to get the full thing and we're only 18 minutes into this guy so I don't know oh no we're 30 minutes into it I've been recording this voiceover for 18 minutes <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Pay attention. Focus, Stephanie. Focus. Anyways, uh, I hope you are enjoying this video. And I, I do appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel. And uh, I appreciate any comments or anything that you give me. Again, as long as it, I don't even mind criticism, as long as it's constructive. Uh, I'm not a quote unquote professional although I have been making jewelry for about 15 years but I've done it on a personal level um, I've I've I rarely sell but I've been uh, putting my pieces together now in packages at home in fact my rolling studio channel will be featuring a uh, a vlog if you would a studio vlog at home uh, where I am actually just packaging my my pieces up, getting things ready to sell uh, for any shows that I might have or might do. Uh, I also paint and do things like that. So I had my very first paint with Steph. Uh, it was a paint and sip with Steph uh, show that I did in November, and it went very well. And I did bring some of my jewelry pieces to sell, and I've sold some, along with my uh, crystal and stone collection that I had. So it was a really nice uh, first time little ordeal for me. It was a lot of fun. So I want to make more jewelry to package and put uh, in these live shows that I might do in the future. And I also will be uh, if you see it on this video uh, you can email me again at jewel it all one at yahoo.com and we could talk about it I am showing you right now this little chain that I'm making I made this little chain because I didn't have any gold chain at the moment I got some now but I, I was I was desperate to show some chain while I was making this piece and I decided, you know what? I have a slew of daisy spacers that I just purchased. And I thought, you know, that would be kind of a cute little chain. So I took some of these curated bead box, uh, I think they're six millimeter jump rings. And I decided to put daisy spacers in them and just create this small little chain that's gonna start the beginning of the chaining of this piece um, I don't think I'll be putting uh, any other beads on this chain I think I'm just gonna leave it dainty and gold uh, past once I get past this point um, I think that's what I'm going to do unless I throw some Swarovski crystals or something in the chain I'm not sure just yet I don't even know if I have any more Swarovskis uh, I haven't bought any of the Precocia. I know that the, you can't get the Swarovskis too much anymore. I used to have a place that I bought them, and once they stole my truck, they got all of my 
major Swarovski crystals except for some four and six millimeter bicones but they got all of my other Swarovski crystals and that just really hurt I'm just gonna tell you <laughs> yes back in um, I don't know 2017 18 18 I think it was might have even been 19 uh, no it was 18 for sure 18 uh, my 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 rig got stolen I was actually in home time and uh, they stole they disconnected my trailer which was empty and they stole my truck and they actually connected my truck to a load of wood that they stole off a flatbed truck that was carrying lumber and they put my truck and attached it to this lumber that was stolen and they found my truck four hours away from my home area and I had been parking there since 2004 or 5, 2005 when I started living out there where I live and it's always been safe and all of a sudden what 12 years later or something like that 18 I don't know how many years it was but uh, it was longer than that there, these people in a ring decide to hit my area which I found out has been hit before um, and they stole all my stuff and I had literally my there's a video that's my intro video to my Roland studio channel because it says what's the Roland studio I'll try to remember to put that either in an I card I'll probably try to put that I card right up here somewhere or in the description box and you can go watch my um, intro to my Roland studio video which was my everything channel at the time and you can see all of the product in my truck and they took it all and it was a really hard time uh it wasn't long after that that i lost my dad to cancer and then it was a year late a year and 10 days later i lost my stepdad to cancer so it's just you know we all have a story and we all have things going on but uh needless to say i don't carry that kind of product in my truck anymore it's just not going to happen so um i said all that because I was talking about Swarovski crystals. See how I get? <laughs> this is me taking time on a, a tutorial. So I, I hope that doesn't bother you and it gives you a little glimpse of who I am and how I am. And it's not just music and, and all that kind of stuff. I, I like to have fun. I like to be silly, but I, I try to be professional once in a while in these videos. And um, because it is a jewelry, video but um definitely i'm just gonna be me can i just say that can i just say i'm gonna be me <laughs> and me is what you get during the video <laughs> anyway uh i hope you guys had a great thanksgiving i hope that you had fun with your families i got sick so i got to miss my uh main uh thanksgiving dinner but I was blessed to at least have one with my, my grandmother, who's just turned 93, and some uncles and aunts that I haven't seen in a while, and some, uh, an aunt that uh, I just recently found. We had an aunt, my mom had a sister we didn't know about for a couple of years now. That, uh, it, so it was a real good thing at the same time. But here is my chain using daisy spacers and jump rings aren't they pretty they make really great little earrings too if you look at it that'd be kind of a cute little earring wouldn't it so maybe we'll work on some of those down the road using this technique and this is just something uh being creative not having gold chain not having other gold pieces and uh that's just what you do you work with what you have and I'm real good at that now, considering I've lost so much. Uh, but I have been rebuilding my stash. And I had a wonderful, wonderful friend. Uh, at the time, I didn't know her. But we've become friends since then. But when my truck was stolen, she sent me a huge box of gemstones. A huge box. And I was jaw dropped by what she sent me. I mean, it was a complete stranger, but she sent me these beads. I do have a couple of videos on them. I don't think I finished unboxing them because I had so much that went on. I, I never got a chance to finish uh, showing everything that she sent. Sorry about that. I had um, 
I had a phone call come through, so I was saying that she sent me a huge box of gemstones, and I never got a chance to finish doing uh, an unboxing of them all, but there are a couple of videos out there uh, on my Roland Studio channel. I don't know if it's on this channel. Uh, I'll have to check, but uh, either way, anytime that I use any of her stuff, I will be promoting uh, the fact that Nancy gave them to me. And I'm going to put her link in the description box below because uh, she does these stashes. And I believe a jewelry channel uh, saw her, her D stash and got together with four people in total. And they went in together and purchased the rest of her gemstones. Luckily, I got a chance to purchase some myself before that happened. And I'm not sure which channel it was, but I I want to say it was Turquoise Street, but I'm not 100% sure. It could have been Wendy Whitman. I'm not real sure who it was, but there was one of them that, that got together with three other major channel uh, jewelry makers, and they purchased all of her gemstone beads. It made me sad because I didn't get a chance to finish getting more than I wanted, but at the same time, I have so many from her. I'm just grateful what I got, and... Um, but she does have other de-stash things that she de-stashes. Uh, I think she has other types of beads and stuff. Maybe not the gemstones anymore because I believe they purchased them all. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. But I will leave her channel in the description box anyway. Because I think that you should go and, and subscribe to her channel. Because she has many other uh if you're into arts and crafts she has many other uh de-stashes that she does um I, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's still doing it uh so definitely go check her out and i don't think she's doing it as often as she was but she has wonderful product generally most of it's new and she has really good prices so i just encourage you to to subscribe to her channel for future uh arts and crafts style uh d stashes but anyway nancy always adorn or always adorn nancy i can't remember which one it is but it'll be in the description box um for her channel in the meantime uh let me just get back to creating <laughs> these loops and putting components together and i really appreciate you coming and watching my my videos and if you haven't subscribed please do so and for those that, of you that have i am truly grateful i did a <clears throat> i did an announcement for a hundred plus uh subscribers just two months ago and last month i announced the winner and we're already past 300 i mean we're already over the 300 mark in less than a month and a, and a half and i'm just amazed uh, that this channel is growing the way it is and I've gotten some achievement awards uh, for views and longer uh, watching and I have you to thank for that and I do thank you for that I really do it means a lot I've had this channel for a long time but I paused it out for so long and I'm just getting back to it and because I didn't want to keep as much in my truck anymore so I'm only doing paintings for the most part a little very little mixed media because I can't carry a lot in my truck but jewelry is the main thing right now so I'm really happy that this channel's taken off it makes it worth my time worth my edit and worth my while now at the end of this video I am going to post the final uh, renderings of this of this necklace because i did get gold chain and i went ahead and created some emerald pieces out of here as well out of the art deco box and i will post that picture as well and if you're interested in my pieces please email me at jewelitall1 at yahoo.com i will have that in the description box and hopefully i'll remember to put it on the screen until then i hope that you like what i've brought you this time and i hope that you stick with me and hang around with me and laugh and get to know one another and sometimes i'm serious sometimes i'm not as you know and uh anyways let's have a great time 
and and enjoy making some jewelry so thank you so much for being here and god bless you and please check out all my other channels that are also in the description box below and i will talk to you guys later have a blessed day bye